Sometime around the 1950s, the legend of the Green Man, or Charlie No-Face, sprung up in Pennsylvania, USA. According to the legend, the Green Man was the ghostly apparition of a man who had been killed by lightning. His terrifying appearance was that of a corpse that had crawled out of its grave, with deep receding sockets where his eyes and nose should be, and wisps of hair barely clinging on to his rotted scalp. At night, the ghost would blindly stumble along State Route 351 and haunt surrounding parks, scaring anyone foolish enough to venture into the dark away from the lights of civilization. This legend lasted decades, with many people claiming to have spotted the Green Man while driving along State Route 351. He was always alone, walking with a cane, feeling his way along the side of the road. But when he was alerted to the presence of a passing car, he would stop dead in his tracks, seemingly to observe the travellers. As they approached and their headlights lit up his form, he appeared to glow green, and in the light they could see his ghastly face, or lack thereof. Horrified, the travellers would speed off, leaving Charlie No Face to continue his patrol along the road, hoping that sooner rather than later they'd reach a more well-lit area and could shake the unsettling discomfort his appearance had cursed them with. As more and more people claimed to have spotted the Green Man, the legend grew. Some say he would only observe passing cars as he was unable to catch up with them, but if you met him on foot, he would chase after you. As the story spread, young people would go out at night hoping to catch a glimpse of him. Some of those who went out in search of him claimed to have eventually spotted him, and while most were so scared seeing him that they left as fast as they could, a small few, usually groups of friends, claimed to have pulled over and confronted the dead man. These sound like tall tales intended to scare people, but bizarrely, they would then go on to say the ghost wasn't hostile at all. In fact, he was rather friendly, especially if one had beers or cigarettes to share with them. As more and more people came across the Green Man, it soon became clear that the legend wasn't just a story. It was true, and these people were able to prove it was true. Now, I generally don't believe in paranormal, supernatural ghost stuff, but there is irrefutable evidence that the Green Man, Charlie No-Face, undeniably 100% actually existed. It's a fact. Allow me to explain. In 1918, Raymond Robinson was eight years old when he spotted a bird's nest up in a tree beside a bridge. This bridge carried a tram line and featured trestles to support the trolleys with electricity. As he climbed up a pole to get a better look at the bird's nest, Robinson unknowingly touched a wire that powered the tram line and was electrocuted. Less than a year earlier on the same bridge, another boy had died in the same manner. Seems like somebody should probably do something about that. Miraculously, Robinson survived, but he was severely disfigured. He lost his right arm, his nose, and both eyes. His family looked after him for the rest of his life, but to avoid becoming a financial burden on them, he made things like belts and wallets for them to sell. Having lost both eyes, Robinson had no idea what he looked like after his accident, but as he aged, he came to realize that his appearance was terrifying to others, and he very rarely left the family home. To avoid disturbing people, he would only go out at night. With his walking stick, he would take long walks along State Route 351. It was a fairly quiet road, which suited him just fine, as the sound of passing cars made him nervous, having been hit by more than one. When he heard a car approach, he would stop in his tracks and wait for it to go by before continuing. Occasionally, on his walks, people would pull over for him and offer him a ride. He was often met with screams when people saw his face in the light, but they would then usually feel quite bad for doing this when they got talking to him and realised he was actually a nice guy. He was fond of a beer or a cigarette, and people often shared with him as they chatted. Not everyone was so nice, though. Sometimes on his walks, Robinson would be beaten up, or people would play cruel pranks on him, like dropping him off in the middle of nowhere, or handing him beer bottles full of piss, so he never drank from an open bottle. That's really pathetic stuff. It makes me feel like a big man. Raymond Robinson was never discouraged from going on his nighttime walks, and only stopped in the later years of his life. He died in 1985, at the age of 74. His death was met with great sadness in the community, as Raymond was, 
quite literally a legendary figure in Pennsylvania. Today his legacy lives on, as some say his ghost still walks the roads at night. <laughs> and that's probably the only case of a spooky ghost story being definitively confirmed as real. Of course he wasn't actually a ghost, but you know what I mean. People saw what looked like a dead man at the side of the road at night, and their eyes were not deceiving them. They did really see Raymond Robinson. They just didn't know he was just a regular fella. In that regard, I think this is still a pretty spooky story. I mean, wouldn't you have been scared to see the green man when you're traveling alone at night? That was something people really experienced, and you could potentially experience it too. You might not believe you'll ever come across a ghost, or an alien, or anything like that, but someday you could be travelling down a dimly lit road late at night, maybe an old country lane you're not familiar with the area, when suddenly your headlights illuminate your own green man at the side of the road. It'd be only natural to get a fright, but just remember that's a human being, just like you, and don't be an asshole like some people were to Raymond Robinson. Actually, it's probably scarier to think that there's a lot more of those people out there than there are green mans. Green men. <laughs> what? Please fucking stop with the power tools. That fucking thing is pissing me off. As more and more people came across the green man, it soon became... Became... That's enough now.